blindfolded and given a knife and was told that they had to stab and kill an individual that had betrayed their order. And it really was just, a, it, was a, it was an animal, or it was a, a tuft of cotton or something, and they had to stab into, the, into this sheep or into this animal, uh, into something, and then they would be unblindfolded and realize that it wasn't a person, because they wanted to test them to see if they would, in fact, kill for the group. Well, that's gang psychology, I and mean, that's, that, that, you know, that's why different street gangs have you go out and kill somebody or, or first rob to get in the group and then kill somebody to become upper echelon because now you're compromised, now you've proven, now you've gone over. You know, going back to Sean Hannity and people denying that there's a New World Order or a Bilderberg or Trilateral Commission uh, when you know, all their friends are in it and, and of course, they're uh, you know, aware of it. And I've seen Sean Hannity say every militia member should be arrested, every child needs a chip, and, oh, it's so conservative. That's like... Uh, the FBI director, J. Edgar Hoover, before Congress in the 50s, saying organized crime doesn't exist. La Cosa Nostra is a conspiracy theory. He's the first one to say that. Now, yeah, there, yeah. there was an individual that was, that was arrested. I can't remember his name, but he, he was one of the first people to really expose the, the Italian mafia. And he was locked up in a mental institution. This is this is on the History Channel, actually, on one of their specials on the mob. And this man came forward, and he he explained how how the mob worked, what kinds of businesses they had their hands in, how powerful they were, uh, that they would you know buy off judges and police officers, that they that they were running criminal enterprises. And this man was was put into a mental institution. They thought that he was he was insane that such a thing could not exist. Well, the judge knew they were being paid off. Well, uh, there was famous uh, author uh, Ezra Pound, Pulitzer Prize winner. He wrote a book about the Federal Reserve, and they locked him up in a mental institution, said, is not private, you're going to a mental institution. Today, everybody knows it. So, see, they deny the New World Order while they're building it, and then now they think it's too late, so they're going, yeah, we're taking over. It's the only future you got. Mark Dice is our guest. Stay with us. Attention. This is an extremely urgent, self-reliant news bulletin. If you have ever wanted to produce your own cheaper-than-dirt survival food, this is going to be the most important message you will ever hear. Here is why. This network has just learned of a new video course that reveals the secrets of how to safely prepare and store all types of survival foods in an event of social unrest and food shortages here in the U.S. Grain shortages and hunger are spreading across the globe. Will troops guard the food supplies in the U.S. this fall? Don't wait. Learn the food shortage skills that can keep you and your family alive in a crisis. Get the details at foodshortageusa.com. That's foodshortageusa.com. Or you can call toll-free 877-327-0365. Don't wait for empty shelves. Go to foodshortageusa.com while you still have time. www.foodshortageusa.com. Or toll-free at 877-327-0365. Act now. A day unlike any other in the long course of American history, a terrorist act of war against this country. The enemy struck America on September 11th. But who is the enemy? Bin Laden. This is his M.O. We have to look to the Middle East. We have to look to Osama bin Laden. Fabled Enemies is the first 9-11 film to take a close look at the terrorist ties to intelligence networks inside the United States. Some U.S. investigators believe that there are Israelis again very much engaged in spying in and on the U.S. I'm aware that uh, some Israeli citizens have been detained. Bin Laden's connections to the CIA, the hijacker's ties to the FBI, the Saudi Arabian connection, the Israeli intelligence network, warnings and war games, the shadow government, and much, much more. Fabled enemies. Get the DVD at Infowars.com or see it in super high quality, along with hundreds of other titles at PrisonPlanet.tv. Either you are with us or you are with the terrorists. The United States is bankrupt and the bankers want you bankrupt also. How would you like to be debt-free in 90 days guaranteed? DebtCrisisSolutions.com has helped tens of thousands out of debt since 1993 and will free you from the debt trap. DebtCrisisSolutions.com legally guarantees to put an end to wage garnishment, bank levies, and liens, and you won't pay one dime to creditors. With Debt Crisis Solutions program, you'll also restore your credit history and be protected from legal action without making one more payment to creditors. 
DebtCrisisSolutions.com specializes in credit report restoration, preventing wage garnishment and bank levies, liens, and judgments. Doing nothing doesn't make the debt go away. Become debt-free in 90 days, guaranteed. Call Debt Crisis Solutions now for a free consultation at 718-615-0123. That's 718-615-0123. Or visit them online at DebtCrisisSolutions.com. That's DebtCrisisSolutions.com today. We got Russell Means, Native American leader, been involved in fracases with the uh, Federales. He's in a whole bunch of movies. He's going to be simulcasting with us on the webcam live at prisonplanet.tv. Come up in about 10 minutes. Mark Dice, uh, I want to talk about a few other issues with you and play this clip. Uh, we've got one more left here. Uh, we've played Hannity. We haven't played. We played Savage. We haven't played Combs yet, who's actually had me on and not censored me and let me talk about false flag terror a few times. And then I got the word he wasn't really supposed to have me back on anymore, but uh, so I've been on there in a few years. But but briefly, tell folks about the Resistance Manifesto. We carry it at Infowars.com. On the back cover, it says, Powerful and Compelling, a Must Read, Alex Jones. Uh, but... Um, and it's got uh, other quotes here, but the 9-11 attacks, the Illuminati, Bohemian Grove, Bilderberg Group, Georgia Guidestone, Skull and Bones, Freemasonry, Cybernetic Organism, Satanism, Mark of the Beast, the Federal Reserve, Neural Interfaces, Mind Control, Echelon, Killing Machines, Animal-Human Hybrids. I mean, this is a great book. It's a thick book, uh, you know, 450-something pages or whatever. You know, 400, let me get the exact page number here. 450 exactly. Um, this is a great book to give somebody because... Each chapter is jam-packed, but is a great and informative read. And you just read a chapter a night for a few weeks, and you'll know quite a bit. This is something great to give people, and I hope they'll go to InfoWars.com and uh, get it, or go to the Resistance Manifesto.com and get it. You know, I tried to compile most of the, the important issues and in, in organizations and in, in belief systems that are involved in creating the New World Order, uh, and, of course, there's a chapter in there on 9-11 covering the evidence for that. But th there is so much, and I know that a lot of the audience is very well informed. And I knew that I know there's new people listening every day. And so to save yourself just hours and hours of, of scouring the Internet and, and just kind of reading random quotes that aren't sourced, I spent a lot of time and, and fully sourced the, 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 the quotes that I use, and I own most of these uh, occult books and, and establishment books. And so a lot of the manifesto isn't just me making allegations. It's I'm, I'm quoting from insiders like Carol Quigley and, and covering uh, issues, quoting directly out of the secret doctrine, and just kind of put it into, into a context and into the perspective so that you can understand what it is that's driving the New World Order, why they're doing this, what their ultimate plan is going to be, how these secret societies are functioning to secretly pull the strings, uh, the belief systems of these secret societies, and then ultimately how it is that they are satanic, what that means, and, and how how this New Age belief system parallels with Bible prophecy in a, in a way that, that leads all the way ultimately to, uh, to the Antichrist coming on the scene, which, you know, could be hundreds of years from now, it could be thousands of years, but that's ultimately... The, the goal of this is these, these New Age individuals... Are and even if you don't believe in Christianity, the elite believe in a world Christ who's going to kill the majority of those that won't take a, quote, Luciferian initiation. And this is what the Pentagon at the higher levels teaches, and I know you source that. I mean, I mean you can't make something this crazy up. No, no. I mean, they, they're, they're building this world system, and that's the plan, is to, to unleash this Illuminati Christ uh, and there's the, the New Age gurus have different ideas as to who it will be. It sort of ties in with the you know the theory of the Holy Bloodline and and uh, from from the Da Vinci Code. Only it's not a bloodline of Jesus. It's really this this uh, Merovingian bloodline that they're keeping so that they can claim when this individual becomes the president of the New World Order, this this Obama-like figure uh, that they can claim them that he is divine. He's from the divine blood. That he is the one that's just. Yeah, well, we're reporting even as sociologists, just coldly, and as historians, what they believe. One minute break, 70 seconds to be technical. I'm trying to be absolutely precise, training my mind to do that. 
70 second break. We're going to come right back uh, to our guest and then talk about does he think Obama is a prototype antichrist individual? Thank you for listening to GCN. Visit GCNlive.com today. Hello, friends. This is Alex Jones. I've told you for a long time it's important to be self-sufficient. And today, that's more important than ever. We need to be independent. And food and water is... 